There's no time to start like today. Within hours of entering the White House, President Biden already dismantling his predecessor's policies, signing a flurry of executive actions in the Oval Office late Wednesday. Long way to go. These are just executive actions. Uh, they are important, but we're going to need legislation for a lot of the things we're going to do. The new president prioritizing the coronavirus pandemic, urging all Americans to wear masks for 100 days and imposing a mask mandate on all federal property. On immigration, the president's immediately halting construction on former President Trump's prized border wall and bolstering the DACA program that protects dreamers, undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children, from deportation. President Biden already sending Congress his sweeping immigration overhaul that includes a path to citizenship for the estimated 11 million undocumented immigrants already here. For new members of the Biden administration, a virtual swearing in. And we have to restore the soul of this country, and I'm counting on all of you to be part of that. And a stern warning from the new commander-in-chief. If you're ever working with me and I hear you treat another colleague with disrespect, talk down to someone, I promise you I will fire you on the spot. On the spot. No ifs, ands, or buts. President Biden also delivering on a day one campaign promise, rejoining the Paris Climate Accord. And while the outgoing president discarded most traditions surrounding the peaceful transfer of power, leaving Washington before the inauguration, he did leave his successor a personal note in the Oval Office. The president uh, wrote a very generous letter. I have it because it was private. I will uh, not talk about it until I talk to him. The White House press secretary saying there are currently no plans for the two men to speak. On tap today, that sweeping plan to combat COVID, President Biden will sign 10 executive orders, including one to direct agencies to use the Defense Production Act and other emergency powers to try to speed up the manufacturing of testing and those critical vaccine supplies. They'll also detail their strategy to address several other key goals, like safely reopening schools. The White House, by the way, says President Biden will hold his first leader uh, call with a foreign leader tomorrow, speaking to Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.